part of what I wanted to say I couldn't deliver I didn't know any way Call me Vera. Hello, I'm Sophia Jessica and welcome to the fan carpet. Well, so um, I had a conversation with the producer and uh, Zach and the director Andy and they talked about this film and then they gave me the script and I went back home and I read it and um, I never played a character like this before, never ever. So normally I play in kind of realistic drama or comedy, um, <laughs> never something like this. And um, so I, yeah, of course, as an actress, you want to play different kind of, of, of roles. And um, yeah, and I talked with the director about it, like my, what my ideas were, uh, and, um, and we had a, a good click, so. Yes, yes, I've, I'm, but I often, uh, I think it's very important that you uh, work together, it's a team, so you have to be on, on the same page, so it's good to, um, I'm not the type of actress to be told what to do, mm -hmm. and that's it, like I really want to talk with someone about the character, about the film, about uh, their ideas, about, you know, kind of have a conversation. Um, I think that's much, that's very important for the quality of, of the film, of any project. Um, and I really want to, it sounds maybe a bit weird, but I wanted to make it kind of relatable. <laughs> um, because it's very easy with a character like this to create a, a femme fatale or someone who is just, you know, very kind of um, cold um, so I I wanted to do the opposite and what I know about uh, like psychopaths and people with uh, narcissistic personalities is that they're very charming they're very nice they're they they are very friendly helpful well they seem helpful and that's how they lure you into their web and, and I wanted to work with that, so like, okay, so I'm charming, but how, how, how charming can I be and how friendly can I be? And, and then there are some scenes in which you have to kind of give something to the audience, something of the crazy, um, but not too much because otherwise you're playing the result. I just I like to explore different things. So, um, and everything I I I do it it comes from within, like from from like I work from the inside out. So it's a part of me that I just a little part, and I explore, and I just make it bigger. And it's a great opportunity, you know, to play different parts and to explore different parts of yourself. Um, and I really like doing that. It was good. Well, I, I, I was born and raised in Amsterdam, so I'm a, like a Dutch <laughs> person. Um, so to me, it was just like a 15-minute a uh, bike uh, ride to the set. Um, yeah, it's amazing to, to work in Amsterdam. It's a beautiful city and we had beautiful weather. So we would have lunch outside, you know, um, at the canals, and um, and it's also fun to have all the, the like the British people um, in Amsterdam shooting, you know, this 
film which is Dutch. Um, yeah, I love I love working in Amsterdam. I mean, it's getting much more difficult to work in Amsterdam because it's it's getting much more uh, expensive, you know. Uh, unfortunately, because at some point in film, what I'm scared of is that you you don't see the the Amsterdam streets streets and the atmosphere back in films because mm. it's too expensive to shoot there. So people are in Holland are shooting in other cities because it's cheaper. Um, but yeah, Amsterdam is just it's kind of an iconic place. Like if you if you have a picture of Amsterdam, everyone knows it's Amsterdam. I hope that they enjoy themselves, of course. I mean, that's the, the most important thing. And also that um, what's happening a lot in film right now is that like the female character is getting stronger and uh, like it's more uh, stories are being told from a female, from the female gaze. And um, that's something I support, you know, even if it's in, it doesn't matter what kind of genre, but that's something I really support. So um, I hope to see more films in which the woman is a predator instead of always the victim. Um, and um, yeah, and I hope they enjoy the film and that to all my friends that they still want to be my friends <laughs> after watching this film. Um, it's a role, it's not me. <laughs> Hill, you always say that. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, uh, everyone who sees the trailer is now like, they are scared of me. So we'll see what's going to happen after this film comes out. Maybe I'll become very lonely. <laughs> we'll see. I'm writing. Um, uh, I'm writing my uh, first script okay. uh, for a feature film um, because, uh, to me, it's very important to um, not only to um, have the female voice out there, but also the ethnic female voice because we are. I'm ethnic in Holland. I'm ethnic. Um, we are a much more. We're much more of a minority. So to me, it's very important to tell uh, stories uh, from the female ethnic, uh, female ethnic uh, perspective. Um, that's kind of like my, like the activism in me <laughs> comes up uh, because now it's still. Um, it makes me upset when I see that you have this whole film and then you have the like these white actors and there's this one black or Arab or Asian woman like having two lines and that's it, you know? Mm -hmm. So uh, I want to um, uh, v um, give them a voice or give us a voice. So that's my, um, yeah, so that's my next, I mean, um, as an actress, um, I read a lot of scripts and still, I've been doing it for 20 years and still after 20 years, I'm still shocked in how ethnic women are portrayed like passive, voiceless, um, they, no agency, they don't um, initiate anything and that's just, it's heartbreaking to see that. So to me, it's very important to, to, to change that. And you know, you, you, there's, there are two things you can do. Be upset about it and complain about it. Or just, you know, make a change and write your own stories and tell your own, you know, to, to create your own characters. And um, and to make a change, even if it's just a little change. Thank you for watching The Fan Carpet. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for more content next time. Sacrifices will be made. Hello? You didn't choose your opponent wisely.
have a lovely stay. I'm here on the largest of the Balearic Islands, Mallorca. With the turquoise waters of the Mediterranean Sea, beautiful mountainous landscape, the thriving city of Palma, quaint little market towns, a growing number of luxury hotels, it's no surprise that the likes of Audrey Hepburn and Elizabeth Taylor like to holiday here. So come and join me as I take you around Mallorca. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.